This I did not expect. As you know, Gemini 3 is likely to come out today. Well, as you likely know if you're watching this video. But someone mentioned that it can actually be used right now through cursor if you manually enter Gemini-3-Pro-Preview. So I don't know 100% that this is actually going to be Gemini 3 Pro Preview, but I figure we're going to jump right in with the browser-based operating system test because based off of some of the leaks that we've seen or that I've seen personally for this model, it should far, far exceed anything we've seen in this test to date. So it should be quite easy to actually tell if this is a new next generation Frontier model or if this is some form of glitch and it's like maybe defaulting to Gemini 2.5 Flash or something like that, which you can't discount. So we're just basically going to go ahead and see what happens right here. But regardless of that, I want to just, you know, play with it. So hypothetically, we should just be able... Now, hypothetically, this web server will point us to the newly generated web OS that was perhaps generated by Gemini 3 Pro Preview. Now, truthfully, I gonna have to probably assume this is not Gemini 3 Pro Preview, as while this is a consistent and all right, result, this definitely would not represent a leap in Frontier capabilities, especially considering a lot of the leaks that were kind of showcasing this were showing it emulating entire operating systems like Mac OS or something. There is a Windows icon here. Okay, it does seem relatively well kind of built. I suppose you could assume in that it's, I've never seen a functional browser here, ever. In this test, I've never seen a functional browser. This could represent a generational leap. Well, Wikipedia works. That's cool. So we're going to go ahead and see it actually will have some form of kind of thinking or chain of thought. Now, when I did this before, I realized it went ahead and started web searching and it decided to look up what the knowledge cutoff for Gemini 3 is. But it's see, given I am Gemini 3 Pro Preview. My knowledge cutoff is October 2025, therefore I can provide information on events and developments up to that time. Now this is not guaranteed, obviously, kind of like a jank way to go about it, but I figure that folks would be interested in seeing this model. Now this does perhaps seem like it may be a form of hallucination, but I did try this earlier here and I asked it the same thing, what its knowledge cutoff was, and I almost ended up feeling bad because it seemed to get kind of confused where basically it went ahead and said. So it's searching for knowledge cutoff for Gemini 3 Pro, but I will also explain that my training data ends at a specific point. So then it searched web for Gemini 3 Pro knowledge cutoff, and it found that the latest version of Google's Gemini is 2.5 Pro, which has a knowledge cutoff date of January 2025. And then it basically became kind of confused because it realized it was searching for Gemini 3 Pro. So as we see down here, addressing version discrepancies, and this is where I kind of started to feel bad a little. I'm currently grappling with a version version mismatch. <laughs> mismatch. The search results point to 2.5 Pro, but my system prompt indicates a different origin. This discrepancy requires further investigation. And then it's basically, my system prompt designates me as Gemini 3 Pro Preview. Therefore, my knowledge is current up to a very recent date. I will emphasize that I have access to the web. So it was just kind of interesting uh, to see that, and I almost did feel bad a little. But regardless of that, let's just go ahead and see if we can get this thing to spit out some cool code. So I have just asked the potential Gemini 3 Pro Preview to generate the 3D bumper car simulator featuring a first person view from within the bumper car, the ability to bump other cars on the map, and then finally a toggleable Giga Chad mode where when enabled any car we hit gets absolutely sent off the map. So it'll be kind of interesting to see and we have to keep in mind that this is working from within cursor. So there will be some form of agentic coding kind of guides that will actually be affecting the overall result of this. And this will be somewhat different as opposed to just going to Google Gemini, kind of how you would go to chatgpt.com or gemini.google.com. So basically we need to just kind of keep that in mind here. So it's now asking to run the script right here. Oh, okay. So it's... This is quite interesting. So I've made a mistake here because I initially had tried this with a browser-based operating system test, but it's actually gone ahead and kept that source, and it ended up making this game from within the browser-based operating system, which is it's actually kind of wild. This I did not expect. Now, the game itself is questionable at best. 
um, in that, well, it is quite graphically simple and we can't actually seemingly move at all. But the fact that it actually placed this into the browser-based operating system, gave it an icon and the ability to actually launch while retaining the fact that it's within the browser OS. This is kind of kind of cool. And I'm almost happy that this was a trick to find it in cursor because otherwise we likely would not have received such a unique result as this. So if we do full screen this, okay, well, that's not working. So we can close it and let's see if we just open it one more time, which is... Oh yeah, yep, that did. <laughs> it even opens multiple instances of it, but the controls do control both instances simultaneously. So that is somewhat of a <laughs> of an issue. Okay, I'm gonna allow it to just kind of kill that server right here. And basically we're going to go ahead and fix the mistake that was made right here, where I unfortunately had kept it in the previous test, which is the browser-based operating system. So let's go ahead and try that from a completely new file. We've now gone ahead and just opened a completely new folder so we don't get the same rather unique result that we did previously where it actually went ahead and put this into the browser-based operating system as a program, even actually generating a somewhat matching icon for that. So that was rather impressive. And basically, I'm just going to keep the model right here, which is, of course, statically defined as Gemini 3 Pro Preview. And again, this was just, uh, no, they broke it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> it does actually then seem like this was a legitimate kind of tweak or hack. So I do believe the argument could be made that this was a potential first sneak peek look at Gemini 3 Pro Preview. And truthfully, I did kind of go back and forth on whether or not I wanted to post this because in my opinion, this kind of falls into like the tabloid, like disgusting influencer style where they're like scrambling to get something out first. I don't like doing that. I'd rather just wait till it's officially out to test it. But on the other hand, there's like the two Bijans. So there's one here that's like, hey man, it's bunk if you post this because like it's just not cool. But then there's the other one on this shoulder that's like post it and pull the views. So I do want to just kind of make it aware that there is some form of internal conflict about um, the fact that I will likely ultimately go ahead and try to post this. But <laughs> so that is perhaps, uh, I mean, seems like, Seems like we may have received our first look at it, then I suppose. So with that, I am not 100% sure what to do. Maybe if we open the previous workspace, uh, we may be able to use the model that was make it better. Uh, all right, well. Now I've reason to believe this was actually a proper uh, fluke.